guys, welcome to Car Kingdom's Monday Night Legacy. I'm your host, Sean Yu, joined here with the one and only... Jordan Isaac. How's it going, guys? This is, Ooh, this, is, this is our commentary little team. Asian combo it's going on. Get a little bit rowdy here. Oh and yeah. Be rowdy, we got oh a yeah. It's going to be good. Spicy action here. Russ Martin, uh, frequent commentator in the spoof, requested because he has something really spicy brewed up. And Sean Tabrizi, he wanted to tell us he's an excellent player, but he's playing this deck for the first time, so he was a little bit hesitant about being on camera. Yeah, but, I mean that being said, he's probably playing one of the easier. I mean, would you say that his deck is a little easier to execute? In some decks. If you're taking a deck for the first time, uh, this is probably uh, not the worst choice yeah. uh, in Legacy. But Sean's I, an excellent player, every single format, but yeah, uh, I'm he's sure trying he this out. Figure out what's going on. We yeah. see a ponder right away from Russ Martin. How do you feel about that full art ponder art right there? Um, it's alright. I, I don't like the full art cards, but uh, the art is pretty cool. At least it's M not foil, right? Yeah, my preference is for like the M10 ones. So oh, uh, like Russ, M10? right here, he's like playing this really spicy uh, deck. I'm going to talk a little bit softer, make sure. Um, our opponent, uh, our, our players can't hear, but he's playing blue white control, blood and shit. I saw a future sign in his deck. I saw a humility in his deck. Oh, there's and here a, he's got. That is a. That uh, is a helm of awakening. Helm of awakening. So all cards from both sides are going to cost one less. And Sean just identifies the fact that that card is not friendly to anyone at all. Yeah, like what, and, why do you want to play around? Yeah, with exactly. That? Why don't, are you don't mess around. Don't, don't mess around. That. The funny thing about it is if Helm hit the table. And Sean had the show. He could have battled. He could have gone for it. It yeah. probably would have been good. All right, check this out. He's got a top two, two cards, two, two red sneak cards, attacks. two sneak attacks. So preordain finding two sneaks, one on top, one on the bottom. Yeah. Only need one to hold the combo. Speaking right? of uh, sneak and show, I believe it won. It did very well at the Achiba. 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 It put two cops in the top eight, and including the eventual winner. Did he I believe. draw for? Oh, he did. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah, there was a couple copies in that in that. To be honest, I really hope that there's more people that are willing to play that deck because my win percentage versus that deck is extraordinarily high. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, I have. A, I think I have, you do really well with it. I don't have trouble playing against it at all. I really think that the mat their matchup is their deck is strong. It's powerful, but at the same at the same time, you know, you can only do so much. You're playing a combo deck. Your opponent knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people lose uh, posts. Post combo, post yeah. res resolution of show and tell. So check this out. Uh, Sense is the vining top on turn three after showing uh, Helm of Awakening and then a brainstorm to follow that up with. Seed of the Synod, too. And he's going to further. What in the world is that? I don't know. And Sean's reading it, too. Okay. So we're going to send a spotter over there. Maybe the other Sean. Perhaps the one with the last name, you. So he just tapped one colorless for something. And uh, we're, uh, we're not quite sure, guys. Give us a moment. And we'll get that card figured out. Right now, though, Sean Tabrizi is figuring, is weighing his options. He's playing a combo deck. He's hitting hard. Oh, it's Alter the Brood. Yes. Okay, that's... In that's fact, Alter so the Brood. Actually, he would have had a combo where he could have played Alter the Brood, Helm of Awakening, and Sensei's Divining Top combo and milled out Sean. Yeah, so either, Although, either that or um, the Monastery Mentor will allow you to infinite. Right. What's interesting about this, though, is the Alter the Brood is not good versus Sean's deck, as Sean's running a bunch of copies of, you know, Emrakul. Yeah, Sean so if, here with a sneak attack off of City Traders. Yeah, which is, you know, certainly very powerful here. Uh, mm -hmm. We can, we might be able to see a, uh, a really quick attack from Sean, putting in maybe a, a, a Gristlebrand or an Emrakul, and it would certainly end most of what Russell's, Russell's shenanigans right here. Yeah, okay, so upkeep top from Russ, and then he's going to arrange in a certain way, finds a Brainstorm, casts that on his uh, main phase, and we see here he's got, he picked up a Force of Will. I think Sean's, Russ involved. is dead. Well, does Sean actually have a creature? I don't think he does. Yeah, but Russ is dead. His deck is so silly. Come on. <laughs> can you really, you really think you can win with this? Oh, never mind. There's a good brand. <laughs> what are you right. going to do? Kill me? It's like, yes, I'm going to kill you. So Sean's certainly going to float two colorless. Well, he's going to play. He's going to sneak attack and Russell Brand. Russell right. Martin's going to do the, the old head nod. Like, okay, that's good. All right. Sean's going to draw seven right here. Draw. With his Grizzle Brand. The old D7 attack you for 23. Yeah. And, uh... And he's actually did not 22. find another blue source. Oh no, there's a fetch line. Never he has, mind. No, he has a, a volcanic okay. in his hand. All right. So certainly going to float colorless. Mm -hmm. Volcanic into play. Activate. Oh, Emmer cool. And then Russ right. is like, okay, I'll take twenty two. All right. And so uh, I'm not. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling twenty two. <laughs> Yep, Do you there know we the go. rest of the words to that song? I do know the rest of the words to that song. Okay, maybe it's we'll, we'll song. have you. We'll have you. Uh, Give us a little bit of a... Hey, 
Hey, this what? is Friday Night Magic. This is not a talent this is not show. Friday this Night is Magic. not a This, is, this, this is, is Monday Night Magic. This is not Glee Club. Oh, this yeah, is this Monday is right. Night Magic. Yeah, but but it feels like Friday Night Magic. But it's it's uh, Big City Bright Lights. Yeah, sure. So All Sean's right. bringing in some stuff. Looks like Pyroblast. He brought he had another card that he brought in. I think it was Split Decision. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly um, what version he's based on. Based off of the the combos that he's seeing, uh, Russ play. There's certainly a, a, a world where, you know, the cards that he's bringing in are relatively good. I, I, honestly, I would bring in the Flusterstorm. Your opponent's already shown the fact that he's relatively heavily blue. So mm -hmm. Flusterstorm might be a strong uh, option here. But uh, Sean actually content on cutting sneak attacks. He also has mismatching arts on his sneak attacks, which <laughs> make me just want to, like, rip his face off and destroy Oh, man, his. what a hater. I'm, dude, um, come on, man. When, and it's not even the fact that, like, they're all one type. Like, if they should just be all Urza Saga, because Urza Saga has the best ones. I agree, because it got that cute goblin art. But um, yeah, in any case... To, they're sneaking up on the dragon. I don't know what, the, what in the world Russ is up to, but I'm not boring on any Force of Wills, because Home of Awakening is never like, oh, let's ramp everyone for fun, because it's <laughs> yeah, easy, right? It's right. like, let's do something stupid. Yeah, let's just do something stupid busted. Yeah, you know, I, and we see Sean actually cutting the Jace the Mind Sculptor, and I certainly think that's a, that's correct. He's bringing in the engineered explosives, when I, which I'm not quite sure about at this point. You know, I'm going to rename Russ's deck to UW Helm of Everything. Helm of Everything? Because it's got Helm of Awakening and it's got Helm of uh, Obedience. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, multiple oh, or, helms. Yeah, I wonder if he's playing Helm of Possession. Yeah, maybe he's playing a lot of hats. He's got a lot of hats. Yeah, it's it called should be UW yeah. White Hats. Yeah, UW Helms. U UW Helms. That sounds like a college sports team. Sure. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, it could be like maybe like a, a West Coast style. They run the West Coast offense. They play bad defense, though, because they're just hats. All right. So uh, what do you think Russ, uh, like, Russ can't really be that flexible, right? I think he's going to aggressively. He, I mean, he plays Future Sight. <laughs> he plays Future Sight, and I know he plays Humility, which I'm going to speak a little bit softer, because that's a bomb against No, it is, it is good versus Show and Tell. So, um, I don't actually think that if, if Show and Tell gets put into play, Sean cannot win. If Sean with plays, humility. yeah. If well, Sean plays, Jace, but show and tell. Weak. He actually just boarded it out. Oh yeah. He's boarded out his one Jace. So right. I think it, it, there's not really a good way that Russ has to fight this deck. Uh, it, it's also one of those things where if Russ is playing like a U White Helms deck with Helm of Obedience, uh, and um, what's that other card called? Rest in peace, Helm of Obedience, all those cards. It's he's gonna have trouble. Like you know, you, you really can't play. The old school combos like Perfree Nodes and Energy yeah. Field, because when your opponent when you attack you with Emrakul, you still sacks its permanent. Right. So check this out. Right. So let's say Sean goes for a show and tell. Russ right. goes, Line Tutor, show him the humility, draw it somehow either with a brainstorm, maybe, maybe a brainstorm a stack to draw it. Right. Now right. Sean flusterstorms, pointing most of his copies at the his brainstorm, own, no. and then one copy has own show and tell just <laughs> in case. Because <laughs> <laughs> like he can't that let that round be pretty funny. Out of that place. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. I think at that point though. He would just, you know, Flusterstorm is really good. Yeah. It's like the best counter in the game. Um, it's one mana and it almost reads uncounterable. It's pretty good. It is one mana and it says, like, almost uncounterable. Yeah, I, uh, I saw some uh, Enlightened Tutors in Russ's deck when he was fanning them out for me uh, when he was talking about this terrible but spicy deck that he's going to play. He's, he left in Terminus here. Okay, so check this out. Uh, Shantabri's got a really all in hand. City of Traitors, Lotus yeah. Petal, Ancient Tomb. But he's got Sneak Attack and two... Fa oh, no, if he, he have, has, okay, If he mind. has access to another red source... Never mind, that's a Power Blast on Sneak Attack. I oh. think I shipped that, actually. But uh, yeah, you know, but given Sean's inexperience with the deck, he might keep... It's powerful, be, but yeah. I, I think you're... He's, average he's one piece away. He, well, no, honestly, he's like one piece away, and if he thinks his opponent is forcible, then he's two pieces away. Did you see how he scryed? Uh, I think we already got this taken care of. Uh, oh, crap. Sean actually kept the hand. And I, I'm... I mean, if you're on a sixer, this might actually not be bad. Mm -hmm. as, as, assuming that your top card is a blue card. But, uh... Or, excuse me. Assuming your, your top card is a fetch land, but his hand right now looks kind of bad. He's so far away from killing his opponent. Yeah. All right, so Russ uh, shipping this ponder. Yeah. I didn't get a good glimpse of his hand. I thought I saw a terminus in his. He has a force of will. That's all I okay. really care about here. I mean, honestly, what's kind of funny about these matchups is it you can play a cheeky deck like blue white helms, but as long as you just stop the combo deck, who's like a turn three, turn four deck from going off, 
Oh yeah, so you kept the fetch on top. Okay, That's really, it doesn't really matter what your win condition is. It just sure. matters that you can win the game. Yeah. So right here, uh, Sean's going to play out the Lotus Petal just in case uh, Russell plays oh, something wow. like and a... Uh, containment Priest off the top, which is completely impervi impervious oh, to the Pyroblast. All right, so draw from uh, Sean here is a Ponder. That's a very good one. Uh, yeah, so Crack Ponder here would certainly be relatively powerful. Um, I, I do like Sean's position now, yeah. now that he, he has a little bit more room to navigate his hand. Mm -hmm. He has a, a ton of mana active, and uh, I guess playing the Ponder here is just going to give him a, a better idea of so what, what he can expect. Yeah, so he gets a Volcanic Island off of this. He, he did not bring in Blood Moons, right? No, he didn't. Okay, and, uh, and, and I think that's the right choice anyway. Yeah, I think it's wise. A lot of the cards you saw for Sean, or sorry, from Russell the last couple turns, are just not... They're not anything you really care about, right? right. All... Ponder here. So he's engineered. That's explosive. a shuffle. That's a snap shuffle. Preordain and. Uh... There's nothing you want out of that. You don't the want any. The preordain's pretty good. You, okay, you already have two but... creatures in your hand, though, right? So yeah, yeah, that's a shuffle. It's a snap shuffle, especially because the redraw from preordain. Like if if you're planning on keeping it off of the, you need to keep two of the three cards if you want that, right? Because then you put you draw you draw for the preordain, you draw for turn. And then the last card is the card you're going to shuffle away with your preordain, right? So. Yeah. Well, now you could keep the preordain and then crack the pedal to bottom both of those, but it seems pretty. Loose. Yeah, really bad, especially because yeah. you're just getting a redraw. You could just get your redraw from your uh, what's it called? Yeah. From your yeah. Your ponder. Your ponder. And oh, and he, he just gets coolered off of that and draws the explosives. Yeah. Ancient tomb's going to be the follow up. It's not the worst. Containment priest. Containment here. priest end of turn. And actually, that um, engineer explosive looks pretty good in this situation. Oh man, this is super awesome. And he's holding. We two see Helm multiple collection. copies of Helm, oh. which means he can play Helm and then play another Helm. But check this out. Um, Engineered explosives, though, at the it ready It interacts for Sean. weirdly with um, Helm of Obedience. With Helm, Helm, Helm of Awakening and um, Engineer Explosives, interacts weirdly. Because, no, but it's fine though, because yeah. you can pay it with the colorless mana from Ancient Tomb. No, I mean. As in, like, it'll cheapen your stuff, but it doesn't really matter if you're trying Sunburst on two, for instance. Right, right, right. Yeah. You still want to pay three mana. No, you're, like, you're going to pay you're going to pay two, but X is going to equal three, and it's going to get two counters. No, it's gonna, you're going to pay one. What do you mean? If you no. Have, no, no, so so if I want to play it with Helm, I just tap one, and, I, and X is three. Oh, are you talking about those two Helms out? Yeah, if there's two Helms out, then I tap one, and X is three. Yeah, but... X doesn't matter. It's how many counters. Yeah, exactly. How much color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much yeah. color mana you play? Yeah. That's what's great about it versus Thalia. I love Engineer Explosive versus Thalia. Yeah, it's, it's weird because you never see the reverse Thalia effect. Like, yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah, you never. You don't really do that because you're accelerating your opponent. Yeah. And accelerating your opponent is never very wise. All right. So two brainstorms at the end of turn four Russ. It's gonna, oh, we, see, we see a terminus. There's a terminus. Oh, I think that's a human. No, that's Alter of the Brood. Never mind. Oh, Alter the Brood relatively strong. Just kidding. That card sucks. <laughs> Untap draw, and Russ needs to find a land, I think. Yeah, he's got... Ooh, there's the helm. Mm -hmm. Everything's so, cheap. So this is important to know, like, does Sean know the interaction between Engineer Explosives and Helm of Bees? Like, I think he does. Helm of Awakening. And especially because he doesn't really have a lot of colored mana in play. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, Pithy Needle. So he plays he a... Should, I would respond helm. to this and crack the fetch. Yeah. <laughs> so he plays the altar and a helm afterwards. Um, sorry, Helm and the Needle for free off of the Helm of Awakening. Yep. Uh, now, for Canic Island is the grab. Certainly like this a lot. Man, that engineering explosives is going to do some work. Yeah, do you set it on two though, or do you set it on one? I think you one. have to set it on two because that containment priest you need to get rid of. You think so? How are you going to win without that, without that containment priest on board? But he has like Needle for your stuff too. I yeah. think you want to blow up the ones. You don't. You like the containment priest. You don't really care about. All right, so later. the mills three off of the uh, trigger from the altar. I mean, you get a three from one, Sean. That's pretty good, right? No, I mean, you get either the priest and the... Actually, you know what I like? Helm, or you get the altar and the needle. I like baiting the needle on something else. Right, explosives. So, two oh, colors, I explosives assume. for two. X equals three, but two colors. Yeah. So you're right, Sean. Let's make sure he uh, announces it correctly. You're super right. You're so right, it's unbelievable. I need force of wills. All right, so I think you got a power blast yeah, fetch back here. Power blast here. Yeah, let's it's hope. Uh, I think these decks usually run three volks, sometimes four. I think they play four actually. The ones that I've seen. Well, let's count the number of whiteboard cards. So one more, yeah. possibly more underneath that, but we saw one copy. So we see the blast come down from Sean. Yep. 
And it's a solid line here. You know, he's trying to get rid of the Containment Priest. Yeah. Do you main phase this right now, or um, do you wait? Because I don't want—I wouldn't want to necessarily give Rust the ability to go to his main phase with a Helm still on board, if I don't know what the hell is up with his deck. Uh, was there a trigger forgotten? Oh, that's a permanent. For oh yeah, yeah. Through, right? So Helm is two. Helm is two mana. Yeah. Yeah, I think I don't want my opponent. I don't want to give my opponent the chance. All right, here's another Helm. Would really, it be, really wouldn't it be funny if uh, for Russ. Sean managed to hard cast the uh, Emrakul because there's enough Helms in play? That would be awesome. And Sean looks like he's drawing a show and tell here. Or he pitched, he pitched show and tell? No, I think that got milled to the Alter Trigger. Oh, that's kind of brutal. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. So Sean's not rolling out his, uh, what's it called? Rest in peace. Well, that's fine. Now we got the rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, Russ still is two cards away from a lot of things. He's a land and a, and a Helm of Obedience away from winning the game. Yeah. All right, so got a pun here in the chat. Good one, Kroko. Kroko. All right, draw for the turn, force a will. It's going to cost four mana to hard cast. Is that really hard casting if that's what's going on, four mana? Four mana for what? Oh, for force a will? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's still hard casting. All right, Ooh, here we Ratchet got a Ratchet Bomb. Bomb. Do you like putting this on... Well, set... Put it on the board and then set for either one or two, right? I like going to two on the Ratchet So bomb. that's only going to cost one mana. Are we going obligated to get Sean to correct this? or? No, he's floating one, and then okay. it's going to let it resolve. Okay, now it's gone. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't look like there was too much hurt from that interaction. You know, it was just whatever. Yeah, was that just a draw goal from Russ? That was a draw goal from Russ, and Russ's deck is kind of floundering here. Yeah. Okay, so fetch land from Sean here. Oh, reveal looks cards. Looks like he alters himself. Uh, there's going to be a shuffle here. The player will take care of it because accidentally reveal cards with uh, a, no a regular no REL, right? Yeah. yeah, regular REL. Actually, I don't know. I'm just spitting out like big words. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah. All right, pops it, pop the Ratchet Bomb back up to two. Draws for the turn, Lotus Petal. Oh, man. Lotus Petal looking pretty dang good if you can get that Emrakul in play. He needs two more Lotus Petals, then he can play it. Well, I'm not sure he uh, realizes that the home... Right now, I mean, how many people have seen Hell of Obedience? Hell of Awakening, right? Not that many, yeah. including myself. Let's get that uh, uh, pulled up for those of you guys who may not have seen this. All right. I feel like this is a big pivotal part of Russell, Russ's deck plan. Yeah. Is Hell of Awakening. But, I mean, how I feel likely like is it to, that Sean just decks off of. Um, if I ever have to buy these alter. like from a store, I would probably be really sad. By I what? think Helms? Helm of Awakenings. Well, why, why don't you already have them? Because I have Chandra's instead. Speaking of which, Card Kingdom is actually buying Chandra Torch of Defiance for $13. <laughs> Maybe I should get out while I can. All right, so draw here from Chandra Breeze. I would also like here. to let, let people know that I did lose the Chandra Torch of Defiance on, mon on, on Card Kingdom's Monday 1K, or sorry, sun Saturday 1K. Did that happen? All right, yeah, so draw happened. from Sean. I also got Emrakul. top deck. His, his hand is awful. Sean, right just now. let me tell you about all my coolers. I, I can oh, got wow. Check out. Russell just drew his humility. Russ just drew his humility. Russ drew his humility, yeah. and he's one mana away from cast, casting. And not just that, it makes show and tell so awkward, especially if uh, Sean doesn't see it coming. Oh, and this is brutal because Sean actually finds his sneak attack. We also find show and tell, and I would be really tempted to debate with the show and tell. To see if, to test the waters for counter magic. Yep. You know, if I'm Sean, I'm thinking right here, man, I really am glad I found my combo pieces. He's taking the sneak attack, though, and I think he's just going to go for the spider slam. Yeah. Uh, do you I, play the... Is the needle on? The what's the needle right on? Now? Yeah, what's oh, the Oh, that's a good question. I think it's on sneak attack, actually. Uh, but let's confirm. Um, can you check what the needle's on? Okay, oh, it's on Grizzle. Great. Russell Brand's a good card. That being said, Sean's about to give Russell Martin the wham bam. Yeah, so floating one colorless. He's going to go ahead and play that sneak attack. Sneak attack looking pretty good. Force, force of will. Force. And we're going to see a fight here. I think it's going to be force pitching spell pierce. Yeah, I like that. You might as well, right? Force pitching spell pierce. Um, I think we're going to see the, the old Russell Martin shrug. Yeah. So activate, put in uh, an Emrakul, activate. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Maybe you should have named a sneak attack. Alright, so that's going to drop Rust down to one, two. Yep. That's Emrakul too bad, trigger. man. 
Rust was like one card away. Uh, so he was actually, really AT close. Fox, I think Helm got blown up by the. Yeah. Oh. Sad face. So. Rust is giving him the sad face. Mm -hmm. Especially because now he's going to get hit for overkill 13. Oh. I hope Sean actually just slow rolls in and puts in. And then in response, he's going to. At end of turn, that guy. Oh, really? There we go. So the needle was on uh, Grizzlebrand, which I think was reasonable given how his hand looked early on. All right, guys, we're going to come back down here to the booth. That is 2-0 in favor of Shanta Breezy as we come back right here. Hey, so uh, that was really fast, even though game two was a little <laughs> slow by Sneak and Show standards. It's yeah, you know, there. There, I mean, the, the combo deck did exactly what it was supposed to do. It found the combo pieces. Mm -hmm. It killed, I mean, it, it killed with a good setup. You saw how the hate cards from Rust were just not in the right or they weren't the correct ones. It was totally correct to blow up the uh, containment priest, by the way. Yeah. Uh, hats off to you for that one. But I think at that point, you know, uh, he, I think, you know, I uh, what's it called, was just trying to hedge against too many cards. Um, you know, if he has humility in his hand or anywhere in his deck, I would almost be more tempted to play Pithy Needle and name Sneak Attack. Yeah. And then force your opponent to play... The show and tell, so yeah, you can put it in. Yeah, if you knew that the yeah. humility was coming, you certainly named Sneak Attack. But yeah, I think yeah, Rizaban yeah. was reasonable early on when you didn't have that much interaction. I mean, if your opponent puts in a, a pays three mana for a seven seven life link, that's still a pretty fast clock. That's a three turn clock. So at the same time, you know, you can still just die to getting bludgeoned to death. And I wasn't quite sure if uh, at that point Russ kept in Swords of Plowshares or not. Uh, I don't even know if he runs it. Yeah, I don't even think he runs it. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and power down for a little bit. We're going to find a backup match. That game was like 20 minutes long at the most. So we're going to go ahead and be back with, with a match in a little bit, guys. Yeah, stay, right, stay tuned. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get the metagame breakdown right here.